Hey guys, Merritt from thermal-medics.com. Just a quick point, um, something I want to bring up here is about uh, nitrogen. That's what this big old black bottle is right here. I've got a giant size one um, at home. Anyway, I've got a, a uh, regulator hooked up to it, running over to my manifold gauge set. That's why I was pressurizing this whole ghetto unit, doing that leak test on. Why do we use nitrogen? What's it all about? Nitrogen is a great gas to use. The whole point of uh, using nitrogen is to keep moisture out of the system and, and still have a gas that we can pump into the, to the refrigerant lines without adding anything, any crap to it, anything that's gonna stick around, any residue. And uh, the nitrogen's a perfect gas to do that with. That's why we use it to pressurize the system for leak checking. That's why we run a low flow of nitrogen, or hopefully guys are out there when they're doing any brazing on the system. That's gonna keep the um, particles that are, that the sediment that's gonna be left over inside the um, copper lines from getting whipped into the unit. Um, so anyway, nitrogen's our gas of choice. That's what we love to use. That's what you're gonna see this black tank. If guys aren't pulling that thing out when they're um, pulling vacuums and uh, doing leak checking units, I mean, who, who knows what they're using? I mean, I've seen home warranty companies use uh, R22 for leak checking. So I mean, come on, you guys know what? It's just scary stuff out there. But anyway, that's what nitrogen's all about. Dry nitrogen. That's the beauty of it. Set up with a manifold gauge set. We can pressurize the system, with this old ghetto, and find out where that leak is. All right, guys, take care. Thanks from thermal-medics.com.